Today I'm working on a special project. I'm going to make a keepsake item for a friend. I'm going to use this charger, um, a wedding photo, and some of the florals from the reception. The first thing I'm going to do is dry brush on some different colors and layers to give it interest. I'm going to start with this plaster color chalk paint. Just dry brushing it around the edges and a little in the middle, but you're not really going to see that. Then I'm going to add some mineral chalk paint on top of that. And then finally, some antique wax. You do want to let the coats dry in between. Once all of that is dry, I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge on and then uh, apply my picture in the center. And then I'm going to use a little sponge to um, dab around the edges some of this antiquing wax just to kind of blend in the edge and give it a little bit more of a distressed look. While that's drying, I'm going to work on my bow. Um, I have some burlap bow here that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to um, wind that back and forth a couple times to give me about four loops for the base of my bow. And then I'm going to start adding some ribbons that match uh, the colors in my project. I didn't really like the way it was looking with the loops, so I decided just to cut some straight pieces and lay them in X's. And then I didn't really like how that looked, so I decided to just um, randomly place them instead of by color. And once I have them all stacked up, I put it back in my bow maker, um, and then I layered back and forth some of this lace ribbon for the top piece. Then I tied that up and fluffed it out. This bow ended up being pretty challenging for me, but I think I ended up with something that I like. And now I'm going back to my charger plate and adding a layer of Mod Podge on the top, making sure that I don't have any little bumps or pieces of brush that came out, things like that that happen when you're working with Mod Podge. Um, and I just kept applying um, a pretty thick coat there to seal it in really well. And once that was dry, I took some jute string, kind of the thicker size, and started working around my piece, um, just putting it right on the edge of that picture uh, because pictures are kind of thick and they don't blend in as well as napkins. And I also think it just makes um, a really cute finish for the photo. And now I'm going to glue my bow on kind of to the side and start laying in some of my floral pieces. I'm just going to cut apart some of the greenery, place it in the back, and um, just start building from there. This is a piece of a stem that I'm adding in here and just securing it with some glue. And then these are some little berry picks that were in her greenery and her florals and some little white flowery little pieces that I'm adding in. Just kind of putting the same thing on each side um, I picked a really small flower to put underneath the bow to give, um, fill in that space, and then another small one for the top of the bow. And then just start adding uh, different roses here that she had at her reception. And it ended up being a lot of pieces, but I really just wanted to capture all of the colors um, that she had that day so that she would have it as a keepsake. And then I just keep adding little pieces as I go to kind of fill in holes, just some different picks and things that were in the box of flowers. And here's how it turned out. Now I did end up adding uh, these pink leaves and then I worked on my bow just a little bit because I didn't like the way that I left it. But overall, this is um, the finished product. It's just such a beautiful way to save a few pieces from that special day. So let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.